that. Yeah, parts of the Bay Area is seeing flash flooding tonight. This is a look at Fairfax up in Marin County. See some streets have turned into rivers, really. Marin County, one of the areas being hit hard by the storm and making it dangerous for drivers. We are tracking the storm for you with team coverage. Marianne Favreau is going to join us from the Santa Cruz Mountains in a moment. But first, let's get to Rob Maeda with the timeline on all of these storms, Rob. Yeah, soggy evening around the Bay Area. We saw high rain rates at times, almost an inch per hour there across Marin County and the North Bay, San Jose, Still seeing the showers, but now storm one is starting to finally move out. You can see the showers around the Santa Cruz Mountains and around the South Bay. The radar looks relatively quiet off to the west, but that's misleading. You can see storm number two here clearly defined curling up here offshore. That is going to reintroduce more wind and the potential of some heavy rain at times as we move forward into tomorrow afternoon. Notice the relatively dry start to tomorrow, and then by the afternoon, the rain spreads back in with that we could see a chance of thunderstorms during the day tomorrow. So flood watches will be up across the entire Bay Area starting tomorrow morning all the way till about 10 o'clock on Wednesday. And on top of that, another round of these gusty winds. We'll see wind speeds 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts, especially around the coast and the hills of the North Bay with the increasing chance even tomorrow night into Monday morning of strong thunderstorms, possibly severe weather for parts of the Bay Area and Northern California into Monday. A look at that hour by hour in our microclimate forecast coming up in about 12 minutes. Wild weather, Rob. Thanks very much. Well, tonight's storm is creating hazards on the roads. It's got people preparing for power outages. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau live off Highway 17 in the Santa Cruz Mountains with a look at the impacts. Marianne. Well, Terry, the rain has been coming down steadily all night long, making driving more dangerous and increasing the risk of mudslides and flooding. It happened in seconds. High winds and rain sent this large tree crashing down on 4th Street in downtown Santa Rosa, causing a power outage. Here at the Summit store in the Santa Cruz Mountains, people are preparing for what the storms ahead may deliver. Usually there's a little uptick in business. People kind of prepare for possible power outages, so it's going to be propane, wood, candles. Store manager Kevin Zaknich says customers are also stocking up on ice, water, and batteries. But he says the store itself is prepared. We have a large generator that takes care of the entire store. So we we were worried about if we lost power for several days, we could lose hundreds of thousands of dollars of groceries. So. It was worth the investment. Throughout the Bay Area, nearly 1,100 PG&E customers were without power tonight, including 624 in the North Bay. As drivers dealt with heavy rains, low visibility, and slick roads in the South Bay, people headed to the coast to watch the pounding surf. But California State Park lifeguards warned them to watch for sneaker waves. Either stay on the roads or stay on the dry sand. Uh, don't go anywhere where, where the sand or, or rocks are wet. You may even find surprises driving on surface streets in your neighborhood with pockets of flooding, which are hard to see in the dark. We reached out to PG&E tonight to ask them how they're preparing for this weekend storm. And they told us that the last few days they've had crews out trimming vegetation and trees near power lines. Reporting live off Highway 17, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News. Marianne, thank you very much. It might be a holiday weekend, but anyone even thinking of heading up to the snow might want to think twice. The snow ramped up this evening and forced chain controls on I-80. Here's how it looked about an hour ago. Officials are saying this is not close to the worst of it. They're warning that early Sunday is your best chance to get through with relative ease because after that, expect major impacts until Tuesday. Now, the storm's bringing plenty of snow to Sierra Ski Resorts. Here's a look from a Palisade Tahoe's live stream. Resort had to put holds on lifts throughout the day because of just too much snow and there's strong wind as well. They're expecting up to three inches of snow today. And don't forget, you can track the snow and rain while you're on the go by using our free NBC Bay Area app. Just point your phone's camera at the QR code left side of your screen. It'll take you right to our radar.